Hi guys, welcome to the Carefree Kitchen. My name is Kyoratle Kyohumudite Menwe, and this is actually Carefree Kitchen Student Audition. Okay, we started a new segment in the Carefree Kitchen where I cook something quick, something light, something nice for the students, something something relevant to the times. You know what I'm saying? Um, guys, I need to talk to you. I I, I want to do a hundred and a hundred um and a hundred was this recipes. This one is not a hundred brands, but I want to do them. But I need you guys to have things like spices, and I'm not talking six gun. I, I'm talking like a curry spice. I'm talking like a paprika, like a cayenne, like a or I need you guys to buy spices for you to follow these recipes because ling roba pelo when you guys just have chicken spice in your cupboards, I'm coming for you because you guys can buy other things, but why aren't you buying spices? Spicy buttermilk chicken burger, aka bitch, you want a burger? Eat a burger. You want a French fry? Eat a French fry. So um, that's what we're gonna be making today. So without fear of contradiction or delay, let's get into the video. So for this recipe, you're gonna need two buns, one chicken fillet half a cup of buttermilk, a teaspoon of paprika, salt, pepper, a teaspoon of garlic powder, hot sauce, half a cup of flour, two tablespoons of cornstarch, two teaspoons of cayenne pepper, some mayonnaise, lettuce and tomatoes. So we're gonna start off with the marinade. The marinade needs half a cup of buttermilk, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a teaspoon of chili powder, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then salt and pepper, you can, you know, what the vibes are. And then you also need one tablespoon of hot sauce, and you'll mix it all together. So, um, I added chili powder because I like things hot like extra hot like heaters and I added a bit more buttermilk just to the consistency just to make it more like wadi um, so this is the marinade as you can see as you can see and we're gonna take our beaten pounded fillets we're just gonna put them in there where is that yeah I'm just gonna get my hands dirty I wash my hands don't stress about that <laughs> So it's gonna take, so this is actually one chicken breast. I just cut it in half and wait, I first pounded it with the, with the rolling pin and then I cut it in half. So that's why it makes two patties. Can I taste? Do you guys give me permission to taste? Okay, now it's time to mix our dry ingredients. So this is the the crunch where the crunch comes in. Um, we will be mixing half a cup of flour, two tablespoons of cornstarch, one tablespoon of paprika, a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon, mm -mm, a teaspoon, sorry, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of cayenne, and a teaspoon of garlic. Powder. So you can also use a teaspoon of onion powder. I just don't have onion powder because I am on guys, please And then you're gonna take the marinade from the one we used two hours ago That was in the chicken now now and I'm gonna take two tablespoons of that marinade and put it into the dry ingredients so What we're trying to achieve here is extra crunch you understand so before we fry we're gonna just toast our buns 
because we need the pan to fry the chicken but at the same time we need the pan to toast our buns so i find it easier to just toast the bun before i just take a bit of butter and i just or oil you can also use oil but butter works best just put a bit of butter in the pan and then slice both buns in half and toast your bun so after dipping the chicken the marinated chicken into the flour dry mixture thingy my bob you're gonna put it into oil and let that fry for seven to eight minutes so we have a fully cooked chicken the last step before assembling your burger would be to make the spicy mayonnaise mine wasn't that spicy today because i wasn't feeling spicy like that but typically you'd put two tablespoons of mayonnaise and three to four tablespoons of hot sauce to get that spicy mayo the veggies the vegetables have been chopped the the, the chicken has been fried the mayo has been mayonnaised to a spice level and now it's time for layering burger layering is very simple you take your your spicy mayo, you put it on a bun, and then you put gherkins, that's where you're supposed to put gherkins, but I put cucumbers instead as the cheaper option. Um, but gherkins work best because of the zest, and you understand how the zest that it possesses. And then you put the chicken patty, and then you put um, the lettuce, tomato, you can put cheese on top of the, the chicken, but i don't want cheese in here and you put the bun on top very simple and there you have it look at her look at her look at them actually this one is falling apart a little bit let me just fix her but these are the girlies let's taste because I burnt one of the patties guys, how disappointing, but it's because I'm still figuring out how to use my my hot plate, it's an electric hot plate because I'm fancy like that, um, it's an electric hot plate so I'm still figuring out how to use this thing, but at least the other patty is fine. So we're gonna taste the girlie that girdled, oh my goodness. Where does one even start? <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> mm. 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 You know you have to walk away. How? Not to toot my own horn, but a short toot, but a short toot. This is so delicious, guys. It's the crunch. There is a lot of crunch, um, especially with the patty, and it's just making my heart so happy. And there's crunch with the lettuce, but there's flavor, guys. There's flavor. I, I urge you to try this out. It's quite quick, quite easy. Well, for me, it was quite quick, quite easy. Um, it's nothing hectic. Fun fact, the buttermilk, I think you can, you can use amasi instead of buttermilk so if you have amasi i think that's also gonna work as a good as substitute um yeah i'm gonna go finish my food i think i'm also gonna call my neighbor to come right Sh should i i'm gonna call my neighbor Sorry. All right. uh, let's put it back because sabang is tall oh, yeah. okay sabang is my neighbor and sabang gonna taste my food yes. so this is your burger for the day oh, okay. looks so good yeah. you just go for it dude you have to just tell them how it tastes because i don't think they believe that what i've done is life changing oh okay you, yeah you, you you had your bite yeah i had my bite do you want me to have a bite with you yeah please how about yeah. you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so good. I don't want to be a guinea pig yeah okay three two one It's like um, 
it's a spicy buttermilk, like a crunchy chicken burger. Wow. It's not like it's super hot, no? It's just like hot no, like a mango. So, I mean, I like oh, you like hot? So mm -hmm. It's not that much. It's good, guys. It's good, guys. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me. Um, in this episode of Carefree Kitchen Student Edition, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Stay beautiful, stay positive, and stay carefree.